What's up, everybody? It's Cloud of Truth bringing you guys some more Battlefield 3. And oh man, am I excited! Oh my goodness, I am absolutely pumped up, but not about Wake Island. I'm sorry, Wake Island just ruins my day. I no, I, I no, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I just, I, I just can't do this map. I, I just hate it. I'm just kidding, man. This map is not that great. It's okay. It's okay. It's not that bad. You like it? Great. Don't just write. Okay, Wake Island is my favorite map. Why would you hate it? Whatever, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. Did it hurt your feelings? Jeez, people. But I am rocking a new gun today, which is one out of two reasons I'm excited, because, oh my goodness, I'm so pumped today. Kentucky, my friends, UK Wildcats are in the final four of the NCAA men's basketball, and oh man, that was just, that was awesome. That was just flat out amazing. We're going to go get number eight, babe. We got seven championships. We're going to get number eight. UCLA, we're coming for you all. We're going to take that seat away from you. You already got the most... We, we have the most wins. Now we're getting the most championships. It ain't going to last very long, my friends. It ain't going to last. And some of you guys are just... Man, what are you talking about? Okay, whatever. Just, just don't listen. Just just go ahead and skip ahead like 10 seconds or whatever. But, yep. UK. Final four, baby. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay, all right. Let's stop with that. And let's go ahead and get on to this weapon, which I am absolutely pumped about. Because this gun is amazing. And the funny thing is, this gun is absolutely just normal. There's nothing special about this gun. Nothing. There is nothing extraordinary about this weapon. It is the most just normal, plain gun. Even the reload animation. Are you kidding me? That is just like... It's like staring at like a beige wall. I mean, what what's so special about that? I mean, it's just... It's just it's boring. But you know what? That's okay with me. I don't mind guns with boring reload animations. But in case you can't read on the screen, which I hope you can, this gun is the SG553. It's an engineer gun exclusive unlock and is a co-op unlock. So you cannot unlock this gun by doing back to Karkin assignments or by leveling up your engineer class all the way. I think I was on oh, a couple nights ago with Squids. We're playing some Conquest or Rush. And he's like, yo, man, you gonna play some uh, co-op? I was like, yeah, sure, let's go, man. I don't, I don't have the SG yet. And that's my next unlock. So let's go ahead and do that. Played some co-op, got the SG, I was like, all right, all right, let's, let's go play with this gun. So we started playing some Conquest Rush TDM. I don't even remember what we were playing, something, and pulled this gun out. I was like, all right, so here I go, running around. I think I was running around a corner or something like that. Started shooting at this guy he and I met head-to-head -head, got killed. That happened to me like eight times in a row. I was so mad. I wanted to just run around with this gun with a, like a hammer. Like, I'll take the butt of the gun and start beating people in the face with it. Because it would not shoot. It just didn't get any kills. And I was just, I was like, all right, forget this. I pulled up my G18 one time and just ran around and I got like three kills in a row. And I was like, uh, what now, SG? But you know what? I said, all right, my friend, I'll give you one more shot. You better prove it to me. And lo and behold, this gun came through. And thank the good Lord above that happened. Because this gun works wonders. And it's normal. It is so normal. It's got a 700 rounds per minute fire rate. That is nothing special. 25 max damage, 14.3 minimum. That is also special. Special. What am I saying? Not special. That's, you know, 25 at 10 meters and 14.3 out. It's about 50 meters. 30 bullets in the magazine with one in the chamber for a total of 31. What am I doing right here? I mean, seriously, am I having like a, like a, just twitchy spat? There must be like some kind of ant or bug like crawling. I mean, look at this. But, but, Sit still, sir. Sit still. Sit still. Come on. There we go. Man, I don't even know what's wrong. I can't even sit still when guarding one area. Maybe I'm just like fidgety or something like that. This gun's reload time is 2.15 seconds while you still have bullets left in your clip. If you've exhausted all your shots, at two, that is 2.65 seconds. Excuse me. It's pretty fast. That is actually pretty fast when it compared to a lot of other engineer guns. The only one that's faster is the M4A1 which is considered to be the best engineer gun. So in that category, the SG-553 is definitely at the top of the list. The 430 meters per second bullet speed is a little bit low in that class. Um, the SCAR-H is slower, and I believe the A91 are both a little bit slower. But other than that, I mean, this gun is kind of low in that category. It's nothing terrific. The M4 shoots, like, has a faster bullet speed. Even the AKS-74U... G36 has a faster bullet speed, but to me, the, the bullet speed isn't, that isn't what make or breaks a gun whatsoever at all. The recoil on this gun is definitely manageable, especially when you put your grip and suppressor on here, which I played long enough to get. Thankfully, I did that. And it's, it's pretty easy to control. It is not difficult whatsoever. And probably my favorite setup, I have to be with the red dot, the grip and suppressor, especially when I'm attacking on rush. 
in this like jungle area full of snipers at camp. I'm just messing with you. But that's honestly probably my favorite setup for a while until I unlock the Cobra site and whoopsie doopsie doops. Thought I had a grenade there. Derp. The only other setup I like to run is a laser with a probably red dot and grip. I haze up with the hollow sight on there if it's a little bit longer range map. Although Wake Island Rush, most of the engagements are close quarters. And Clouded Truth, don't you ever reload when walking out a door, alright? Don't do it! Watch me, like, 20 seconds, I probably will. I remember. <laughs> I just, I have such a bad habit of doing that. But overall, the SG-553 is just a hard-working, very solid gun. And if you have not tried the gun, please try it. Please try the gun. If it doesn't feel right, don't use it. Too many people have that problem. They think that, you know, oh, this gun's best statistic-wise, so therefore I should use it. No! Use the gun that you feel the most comfortable with. That is why I use some guns like the G36C. Statistically, it's not the best engineer gun. It feels comfortable in my hands. It feels right. It feels right in your hands. Use it. If it doesn't, then don't use the gun. And uh, here we go again. I, I just about facepalm right there. Thankfully, I got the kill. I don't even know how that guy did not kill me. But the reason why I'm putting this review out today instead of like the next couple days after the patch comes out tomorrow because the SG-553 is only going to get a few things changed. That is, its initial recoil and the vertical recoil are going to be slightly reduced. That is it. There's no other major changes with this weapon, so I feel pretty safe about putting out a review of it today. I hope you guys did enjoy the review, and please let me know down below if the SG is a weapon that you use a lot or if you haven't unlocked it yet, go unlock it. Do it. I don't know. Go find a buddy. Go play co-op or something like that. Just go unlock it and give it a shot and come back and you can let me know. All right, guys. Hope you all enjoyed the video and have a great day. Oh, go big blue, baby. Let's get number eight. Peace. See you guys.